Hey everyone, Chris here with a quick news update all about Sakurai's thoughts on the PS5. That's right, Sakurai's latest Famitsu column, titled The PS5 Has Arrived, shares his thoughts on Sony's latest system. A special thanks to Source Gaming for their translation of the article, and yeah, let's check it out. Sakurai starts by noting the console's design. Although he could place the console as it is on the shelf of his TV, he had to consider its ventilation system, which led him to place it on its side under the TV. He specifically talks about how the console feels and thinks that every part of it feels nice to touch since it's so smooth. And then he talks a bit about what he recommends doing first with the PS5. He does discuss a few problems he had with transferring over his PS4 cloud saves. He also highly recommends everyone to play Astro's Playroom, as it acts like a PlayStation archive and he thought it was a fittingly fresh start to the PS5. He finds hard copies of games difficult to manage, so he appreciates how quick the downloads are when downloading his games to PS5. After downloading his first batch of games, the first one that he played was Ninja Saviors. He also upgraded Watch Dogs Legion from his PS4 version, and commented on how the graphics look better in different places. Now, Sakurai does feel that the built-in hard drive for the PS5 is too small, comparing its 600 gigabytes to the PS4's built-in 2 terabytes. He also hopes that the supply problems will be resolved soon and acknowledges the difficulty people are having in trying to pick up a system. From there, he discusses the global situation and mentions that it was probably really difficult to get all the parts needed to make the consoles. And he says that we should not try to force our old way of living through this situation. Sakurai ends the column by explaining that he believes if shortages can be resolved, the PlayStation 5 will entertain many people for a long time. And he does expect an increase in future availability and development. So it's pretty fun and interesting to hear Sakurai's thoughts on all this. After all, he is a huge fan of gaming, so it makes sense that he would pick up a PS5, just like many of us I know are at least trying to ourselves. So what do you think about Sakurai's thoughts on the PS5? Let us know down below, and once again, thanks to Source Gaming for the translations, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Sakurai and plenty of other things gaming too. Till next time, bye.